Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, we are looking at the enemy phase. Yep. Um, so we've so. skipped ahead a little bit just so that we can show you the enemy phase. Yeah, because in the, from setup there are no, no, no enemies on the board, so generally you skip the first enemy phase of the game. Uh -huh. But just to keep things straightforward, we've skipped ahead. Um, the game actually is broken down into a series of rounds. Uh, the enemy phase comes first, then you've got the agent phase, mm -hmm. where the agents do stuff. The uh, rest phase, which isn't always there. It's, if there are no enemies on the board, you get a chance to rest up. Then the doom phase. The doom phase is always there. Uh, until the confrontation, that's a whole separate matter. And finally, the end phase, where you just do some admin sort mm -hmm. of stuff. So, um, let's get cracking. Into the enemy phase, let's do it. So, the lead agent is always the one who can choose how the minions behave because this is a fully cooperative game. So, it's not even that they're choosing how they behave because they have preset behaviors. Yeah, the lead agent basically activates the enemies going by the rules the game sets out. Yeah. Uh, and the lead agent is whoever is furthest forward on the target priority track. So currently that is Hellboy. Hellboy. So by default, you, you will move and control the enemies. Yeah, so uh, Rampaging Frog Monsters, which is minion A, there's none on the board. And we so go left to right. Left to right, there. A, B, C, D. So yeah. then B is Venomous Frog Monsters. We've got one of those here. Yeah, and he's uh, a ranged minion, because that's part of his tags. He's got minion, frog, and ranged. So he's a ranged minion. Which means what, James? That means that uh, when a ranged minion activates, they will make a ranged attack against an, uh, an agent they can see. And if there are multiple agents they can see, we use target priority. Mm -hmm. um, the way target priority works is whenever it is used to select an agent, whoever is furthest forward is the one that's chosen. And then they bump to the back of the queue. So yep. you want to get shot at and then Hellboy bumps to the back of the queue. So I'm just going to move. There you go. There we go. Lovely. So now um, the Hellboy gets hit by that ranged attack. Yes, indeed. So um, the Venomous Frog Monsters have got a couple of stats here that are important. They've got a range and a ranged attack value. So range is how many areas they can shoot. Generally, this game is quite claustrophobic. There's, mm. you, know, you don't have a lot of huge long corridors. So generally, unless they've got a really short range, you're going to be in range of it. Although that said, certainly in the Conqueror Web expansion, there are some really long shooting gallery kind of situations going on, which you'll get to later. Yeah. Um, it has a range attack of five. That means that I'm going to take five points of damage. I am. I'm helping. Oh, well, carry on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to take five points of damage. Yep. Uh, unless you can block it. Yep. So my defense is the orange, uh, the uh, orange dice. So I roll all three orange die. And I've also got my uh, effect die. So yeah, so the way any kind of test works, uh, when you, you you got your four skills up here, fight, shoot, uh, examine, and defend. I nearly mm -hmm. forgot that one then. <laughs> and each agent has uh, a, a mixture of uh, red, yellow, and orange uh, things there to make the game friendly for colorblind users as well. That's uh, yellow is circle, orange is square, and red is hexagon. And you'll always roll three dice of that colour, plus the blue effect die, which kind of messes with it in some way. So that's what I'm rolling. And I need to try and roll higher than five, so that I don't get No. <laughs> so that's two and a blank, but I also have a re-roll. So I'm going to re-roll that one. Yep. And got a blank again. There so there go. we go. So uh, I have taken three damage. That's range attack five, minus the two leaves three damage. Yeah. So over here we have damage markers, which are double-sided. And on the one side they have a wound, which is like this kind of red-looking slashy thing here. And the backs have, a, have different icons on. On the bottom of your agent board you have a number of health slots. You will place the tokens into there, and when it fills up, mm -hmm. you'll start flipping them to their injury side, which then starts having a detrimental effect on uh, the way you play the game. So currently Hellboy's taking three damage from a big chunk of Hellboy's venomous, tough. awful. Um, he can take it. He's, he can take yeah. it, that's fine. But that is the Venomous Frog Monster done. Yep. So next, the Armed Frog Monster has a go. Mm -hmm. And the Armed Frog Monster is a brawler. That means that it attempts to close with the agents. It's got a move stat of two, so it can move up to two areas. And will then make a melee attack. Um, so it'll move into our area, and then it will attack. And again, using target priority, because it could attack both of us here, it's now going to hit me, and that's not great. <laughs> so bump Liz to the back of the queue for me if you could. Mm -hmm. And I'm now rolling defence. So I've got... Uh, the same defense as Hellboy. Liz is no pushover. Let's give this a go. No. Oh. Uh, so that's what we do. Um, so I've rolled two, four, and the BPRD symbol. Now, hmm, let's think. The BPRD symbol can be used as any other result on the dice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just very 
casually turn it into a one and negate the da No, wait, no, he's range attack seven, isn't he? Melee attack seven. I need more than I need more than that. Uh, okay, I can use two. this one to double that into a four, four, five, six. So I take one damage. Well, those armed frog monsters do not mess about. No, they're not nice. Uh, but that is the end of the enemy phase. That's that's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. If there were more, um, say say there were two or three armed frog monsters on the board, the lead agent would always choose the order in which they attack. And of course, that could change within the phase, the lead yep. agent, because for a moment there, I was lead agent. It was it was nice. I enjoyed it. Yeah. But now it's back over to you. Okay. So I think that's the end of the uh, enemy phase, and we'll go on to the next phase. Yeah. <laughs>